So the Raw show opened up with a big angle. Edge, Beth, Judgment Day, Dom, where uh, Beth gave Dom the, uh, whatever they call it now. I don't, think, slam. I don't think you're allowed to call it what they used to call it. And uh, she laid him out, <laughs> and it's sack? setting up a mixed tag at the pay-per-view, which is Edge and Beth Phoenix against Rhea Ripley and Finn Balor. So we knew it was coming, and that should be a fun match. Then Judgment Day attacked, and uh, poor Dom got glam slammed. I love Dom. He's, <laughs> he's just the greatest heel gimmick. Then we had Damian Priest meeting Angelo Dawkins. Elimination Chamber qualifier. Damian Priest beat him clean. He is going to the Elimination Chamber. Got 12 minutes, and it was a good match. It was a good match. And uh, not much else to say about other than that. Just keep it simple, right? Maximum Male Models and Maxine Dupree signed contracts with... Uh, you know, no. <laughs> I was just thinking. I got something I've been waiting to do, but this person hasn't bit yet. But it's coming. It's coming. And it's not you. And then they had a show-long storyline where Chelsea is being all annoying to Adam Pierce. She wants a match. She wants this chocolate, that chocolate. Queen Karen. Then, you know, some things are, are uh, a lot better with uh, Triple H and... You know, I've I've followed this guy's Instagram, uh, old uh, Baron Corbin. And honest to God, you know, I, I think we'd really get along. I think we'd get along great in real life. But it's not real life. I'm a reporter and he's a wrestler. And so uh, he's already blocked me on Twitter. <laughs> I must have said something he didn't like. Maybe he can block JBL next. But anyway... Baron Corbin faces Dexter Loomis. As God Almighty is my witness, they had three minutes and 10 seconds, okay? Three minutes and 10 seconds. Baron Corbin put this dude, again, I swear to God, three Three chin locks in this match. It's three minutes. And you did three chin locks. I hate chin locks, okay? I mean, you got 15 minutes, you got three chin locks, I'm still irritated. You had three minutes. An average of a chin lock every Minute. Then Dexter beats him. And they cut to JBL, and he just hangs his head, and he walks out. And then later, they they go backstage, and Corbin wants to go dancing or something. I don't know. <laughs> eat some meat. And JBL goes, brother, there ain't no us. Dude, you have absolute, total... Channel changing heat. You're a loser. You can't win. You suck. You're tainting my Hall of Fame legacy. I'm out of here. And he leaves. Well, that's not true. Because Baron Corbin said, wait, I can change. I swear I can change. And JBL said, you can't polish a turd. And then he left. I mean, did they make him do three chin locks to make me, like, side with JBL? Or, like, what happened here? Maybe like, that was the point. Maybe what? just In have God's the worst name. possible thing you can have so JBL is just extra disgusting. Do you know how many gimmicks Baron Corbin has had? Do you know how many times they've given him a makeover? That's it. Maybe he'll be in NXT next. God. Then we had Lesnar and Lashley segment. Lesnar comes out. And, uh, like, dude, he's now, he's now, he has a thick southern accent. Yeah, he's a sharecropper. He has a thick, like. thick southern accent now. Buddy. But it's funny, it's funny, he only has that thick southern accent when he's being a good guy and he's 
talking to the good. fans. But man, when he good. gets mad, he drops that accent. Yeah. And then out comes old Lashley. I hope he, Lashley kills him. Wow. Take that feather off and shove it right up Brock's country rear end. Wow. You know, there's... there's He's not my baby face. A couple people I have maybe heat with in this business, but it ain't Brock. Nor would I like it to be. Wait a second. I'm not saying I have heat with Brock. Bobby's got heat with Brock. Oh, you got heat I with him now. Bobby. You you just asked for Bobby to shove that feather up his, you know Right what. up his wow. South Dakota, not Texas wow. rear end. Well, yeah. Lashley has a contract for a match, and uh, or, or Lesnar does, and Lashley basically says, dude, this is on my terms. Like, I, I, I beat you the first time, I laid you out the second time, and I just tossed you out of that Royal Rumble. This is on my terms. So Lesnar grabs him, F5s him. Crowd chants one more time, he does it again. Next week, they have a contract signing if, if Lashley's going to give him the match. And man, if I'm Lashley, this guy's jumping through some hoops. That's what I say. Yeah, and somebody's going through a table, I have a feeling as well. Carmella won a four-way to enter the Elimination Chamber. She did virtually nothing in this match. A lot of running, a lot of fleeing. I mean, the best person to match by miles was uh, Piper Niven. But uh, she didn't win. Carmella's in. So good for her. Shelton Benjamin and Cedric Alexander have reunited with MVP. And uh, they face the Alpha Academy. Five-minute match. It was good. And uh, they won. Clean. They uh, hit the lumbar check on Chad Gable after he missed a moonsault. Pinned him. And MVP is so excited he almost killed himself getting in the ring. He's got a, a bad wheel, and he slips on the apron, almost falls off and kills himself, and uh, gets back in the ring, holds up their hands. They're winners. More to come. We had a goofy segment. You know one great thing about uh, Triple H that no one has mentioned? Triple yeah. H has positioned Miz as a mid-card geek. He's not a main eventer. He's not out there, you know, trying to be a tough guy. He's literally a mid-card geek who makes a geek out of himself, gets some heat here and there, and then gets beat up. Hasn't he been that way for a couple years? No, he won the he won the title like two years ago, dude. Did he, he was the champion. I yeah. Who'd he beat? Kofi? No, he went Kofi. He goes Brock. Who the hell was it? And then uh So she's interviewing him and out comes old Boogs. Who's just what a gimmick? He's all boogsed out, and Miz makes fun of him for beating him in a suit, and he's making fun of Pierce for being an incompetent official. And of course, Pierce is right there, so he goes, "Well, you know, get your gear on next week. See you and uh, Boogs, one on one." You know, there seems to be a lot of you know nostalgia for the '80s and '90s. You think that'll be the best thing that can help get Boogs over? Because I don't know if Rick Boogs, although he looks straight out of the '80s, you know, as a uh, a swolled up guy there, but I I don't know what else this guy has. Because before he had Nakamura, what else is he right now? What is he? I can't believe the people that will not give Triple H a chance. Lenny goes. So we're giving Triple H props for making Miz what he has always been. Yes! Yes, we are! Absolutely, positively, unequivocably, yes! Brother! He shouldn't be a main eventer. He shouldn't be winning the championship. He should not be in that position. So if the other guy was putting him in that position, and the new guy isn't, yes, he's getting credit for that! Golly! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! Yes! Yes, he deserves credit for that. Golly! Breathe. Asuka's back. She kills Chelsea Green. You know what? If Vince McMahon didn't do anything with with, uh, with Asuka, and we never saw her, and she was always booked as a loser, and then the new booker pushes her to the moon, yeah, I'm afraid he deserves credit for that. For, for doing what they always should have done. Yes, that is that is deserving of credit. We had the yeah. Cody segment. It was awesome. Montez beat Elias. Ten minutes they gave him. That's fine. Hey, Mon- look, Montez beat him They want Montez clean. to go 30 one day. So. And then the main event was the match we never got. Becky Lynch and Bailey. 
in a cage. And, uh, yeah, Eosky tried to interfere. Dakota's out there as well, but she's on crutches because she has some sort of allegedly minor knee injury. And uh, they had a good match. And then, uh, you know, as noted, EO comes out. And who should make the save? But for reasons I, I can't explain. It's mania season. Lita. Sure. She just happened to be in town. Oh. And she ran down and she made the save. And, uh, and she ends up slamming the cage door on uh, Wee Bailey. And then Becky hit the manhandled slam pinder. And then, you know, Becky and Lita celebrated and they got their main event. And uh, all was right with the world. That's Legends deal going, Lita's got. Here is some actual commentary from Bash and Burger. I love barbecue. It's a lot of fun. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> During this match, uh, I believe uh, Bastion was uh, choking on his chicken wings. Bastion said, uh, Vince, you haven't lived up to your contract. I uh, require four or five pizzas delivered in a wheelbarrow. It was at this point that Bastion Burger demanded hot dogs. Were they delivered it? in a wheelbarrow, too? Yeah. That's a big hot dog. We're told Razor and Zanetti have called... It's a big wiener. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Brian. Big, juicy wiener. Yes, in between two buns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you broke Vinny. <laughs> if you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.